All right, so I'm going to be using that brush there to clean the exhaust. And what we're doing here is brushing off all the rust before I paint it. I'm going to time lapse from about right here through this action. Okay, so what we've got going on here is I'm using a lithium ion 20 volt DeWalt drill with my hands. Now, this would have been much better to do in a vise. Um, but I was just doing what I could with what I had. I'm just trying to, this is the heat shield. I'm just trying to remove all the rust from the heat shield. Um, I actually found this little cleaning bit in the dumpster. All right, so this is the exhaust bracket. I got to remove all the rust from it too. Um, I'm going to be putting a clear coat on this one since it's galvanized. Works out great. Time lapse from here. All right, now that I finished that bracket, I'm going to go back to the housing, do some more cleanup here, more time lapse. Here we go. All right, I'm converting back to the actual exhaust pipe itself here. I saw a little bit of extra rust, so I'm going to go around and do that. More time lapse. Here I'm putting a clear coat varnish, a synthetic varnish on that bracket, the exhaust hanger. What this is designed to do is just put a clear waterproof corrosion inhibiting layer on the outside so that it won't corrode or rust. I used a 500 degree engine paint they didn't have any high temp paint, but we'll see how this does. That's the actual exhaust pipe after it's painted. I got a little too heavy on the paint, it dripped a little. This is the exhaust cover, and I think it turned out great. I was a little lighter on the can, a little more random with the spray. Looks great. Here I'm going to put the exhaust pipe back on the unit, and I forgot the um, spark arrester which is going to force me to take it all back off. Here's some time lapse. Here I'm going to be reassembling everything. Um, this cover is really hard to get on, so I'm going to show you a time lapse there. All right, that was kind of tough. It seems I bent the shroud a little bit while removing the rust, which made it turd to reinstall these four screws, but it ended up working. Now I'm gonna reassemble the intake. There goes the spark plug cover, or wire, onto the spark plug. Tightening this bracket down here. I'm going to go ahead and time lapse a lot of this. I'm just reassembling the intake system here. I wiped everything down with wet wipes and oiled the parts that are frictive and stuff. Go ahead and have a watch in high speed. Just putting the wing nut for the air filter back on. The inside paper in there has been properly oiled and is ready to rock. So just tighten that on there like that. Then the housing goes back on the top like this. Get a little of that dust. I oiled the housing to emolliate the plastic. Um, just go ahead and tighten that down like that. All right, so here is the spark arrester, or flame arrester. I'm gonna pop that back in there like that, and then put the little screw, it's real small. And then use my magnetic drill dri or driver here. Oh, there's a screw stuck to it. I'm gonna just tighten that on 
so it doesn't rattle free or rattle. That hole goes all the way through the exhaust housing uh, into the spark arrestor. I'm going to fast forward here. I had to take it back off and then reassemble it. Have fun watching. All done. The handlebars not installed, but I just wanted to give you a close look here. This is a nice uh, slow speed, real time spin. So go ahead and have a look. I wiped everything down. Not perfect, but pretty OCD level with about six different wet wipes. It's in a really nice condition for being 22 years old. The tires are dirty, but whatever. I, I you know pressure washer. You can see it's it's been in the world for a while. A lot of hours on this unit. We regularly change the oil. There's the refurbished muffler. It looks good. Cleaned off all the intake. Did a real thorough cleaning of the intake system. Wiped down all the surfaces. A lot cleaner now. Tires and wheels not so much, but whatever. Put that ethanol free fuel in the tank fresh oil in the engine.